was one of the days can go that way. And now we are in the guest room of Dr. The Voice. So if today Dr. The Voice is supposed to be alive, this will be our room. So Akaba. So let's try one more time. Okay. Akwaba. Okay. So if you go to someone's house and the person say Akwaba mm -hmm. and you don't respond, it means that you are going to be hurry. So if someone say Akwaba to you, you respond. That's means that you are interested to come. Mm -hmm. So you can stay and enjoy my food. Mm -hmm. If you don't say I'll, if you don't respond, I'll give my food to you. Mm -hmm. Was that one? Mm -hmm. I will share my food with you. Even mm -hmm. yourself, you're not ready to stay. Thank you. So how can I share my food with you? Mm -hmm. Even what oh, else? Would you ready to go? Oh, okay. Okay. And that's by the way. Mm -hmm. Now turn to public library. We have three thousand five hundred books in this room. Mm -hmm. We open to everyone from Monday to Saturday, including holidays. So everyone is welcome at any time to read any book of the choice. And we have more activities over here. Take one and pause it. Okay. Oh, nanny. Nanny. Okay. nanny, what's the market? So, where were these books made? <laughs> okay, you are so. You can turn it back. The website is there, and any place that you want to get one, you can get it. So these are all American brands. Yes, please. Absolutely. So that's one of the things is the Black Energy for America produce an incredible world of literature, yes. and the, and, it's, you know, yes. and you know, I want people to appreciate the contribution of my folks because I got a whole book full of scholars, and no matter where I go in the world, I don't see other scholars writing those books. Like, you know, you're from that class of just all the scholars in like, so from New York, the East your, Coast, yeah. and all the... And now we come to the next one. Georgia piece that got adopted in New York. Oh, that's a brand. But the scholarship is incredible, man. I'm telling people, as, as far as like the scholars from the 50s to 2000, American, black American scholars. Like from Chancellor Williams all the way to... Schools too. You know, to yeah, Amos was, Wilson, right. and I was at his on funeral. Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben. I mean, this yeah. legendary stuff in books and documentation. It is true. And then I've people who are producing, you know, the, you know putting the, the history that's been, you know, all in America that the rest of the world don't really know is just incredible. And to see the books is, you know, just here physically. You're ready. Oh, wow. JJ. Oh, yes, oh, family. Yes. I go. Yes. Amen. I go. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now we are in Dr. Dubois dining room. A dining room with a stage. So let me ask this question. So for fish food of Ghana, do you know how to eat? Huh? What's that? Which food do you know how to eat? Oh. Well, the issue is the hotel keep on putting dead food on the Watch menu. Watch it. That's oh, wow. That's, That's a favorite. Favorite. So we encourage them to put fruits on there, like you know, more mangoes. Mm -hmm. Even things I've not seen, like guava is ideal. Guava cassava. Mm -hmm. oh, so? It's about fruits. It's about cassava. Guava cassava. Papaya. You're talking about fruit? She's talking about what she said. I'm talking about fruit. Papaya is mango. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one? A pineapple, you know, the sweet pineapple, the sweetest pineapples. I don't want fruit. I want food. food. Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. Food. Food, food, food. food. Grand us too. Pound us too. Do you know what you are going to do? No the kitchen cake. is right there, so you are going to pick one favorite food and come enjoy ourselves right here. You are already in the uh, dining room. And we're going to make some Ghanaian jala fries, the best jala fries in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ghana jala fries. I see. And that's, by the way, this is the great man that we are going to talk about. Dr. William Edward Bagat Du Bois, born on 1868, 23rd February, by a mother called Mary Bagat and a father called Alfred Bagat. They live in Great Barrington in Massachusetts. 
Dr. Du Bois arrived in this country in 1961 at the age of 93 years old. Died on 27th August 1963 at the age of 95. So let's guess, if Du Bois is supposed to be alive in 2020, what is age? <laughs> We're running back on it. Maybe somebody did it. Oh, wow. You know what I did right now? With the olden days, when they want to calculate your age for you, they will say, this time, this happened that time, it was raining, this happened, so now it was this year. So now today, we are that year. So that's what you are trying to do. The boy is be 154 years old. Wow. Very old. So now the grandma then have stopped. I already told you boy's age. We still celebrate his birthday in this house in the month of February, in addition to Black History Month in every year. But the Black History Month celebration is a month of celebration to honor the past and the present life of black people. Because we believe that Marcus Garvey said that all blacks are from Africa. So the Black History Month celebration in the African countries is every day. Because we are told, so every day is our day. But the diaspora celebrates in the month of February. And also we have these colors over here. The red, black, and green. Who have seen these colors before? Okay, so now I'm going to learn from you. When I point the colors, you mention the meaning of the colors for me. The red, blood. Black, people. The green, Agriculture. And that's it. Desama Marcus Gabi, the Pan African flag, the liberation flag, the African flag. All blacks are from Africa. So the blood our forefathers fought for our freedom, black our people, our skin color, and the green our land. And that tells that with the African countries, each of the countries have a big land for themselves. And the land produces all the natural resources, the minerals, and everything we need to survive. But the sad thing is that for our own freedom to obtain in our own homeland, our leaders needed to fight and pay them with their blood in order to attain our freedom, protect our people, and also our land. We already have these human resources and also the natural resources. They're already taking part of it away. So what are we going to do to protect what we have now? Is there a question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to fight. Mm -hmm. How? How are you going to fight? Education. Education. Organize your economic resources. Yes. Okay. To become more self-sufficient and more inclusive of our own people. Okay. Yes. I think we have to unite. Yes. 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 So you don't think you are united? No. 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 We're not. We're not. We're not. No. Okay. So if you are not, what is our main problem? That you cannot unite ourselves. We've been divided and con we've been divided and conquered along all different lines from race, Just from culture, color, then mm -hmm. separated to different parts of the world. So you know we can pull it off. It's just, it's a serious psychological effect. You know, especially when you have when you, you put black people in different parts of the world and separate them and put them against each other. You know, and things like that. It's a it's, it's serious. So a lot of us dealing with serious mental issues and things. And you know. I think we're all trying to get it together and these roots and culture connections from us leaving from the diaspora and coming to different parts of Africa, that's part of our path to, to reconnect with our own people and learn our own culture and connect and it's, you know, it's not an easy thing because you, know, you have to pay for them expensive tickets, you have to do all these arrangements, so, you know, but we're just, you know, we're just happy that we can actually start a form of just you know, recovering and rebuilding. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. Please continue more. That's just my insight. Now other people okay. have their own insight. Okay. I don't want to take the, the floor. <laughs> so, yes. so they touched on, on different aspects. One of them is the mind. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the mindset that we have is clearly interfering with how we manage our resources. Mm -hmm. So clearly, it's the first thing we got to do is attack what? The mind. Come like a scientist. It takes time to use the right, to find the right tools to get to the truth. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's different views on term, in terms of what's the truth in terms of gene when it comes to biology. You know, are these people like us? This is not. You know, there's different <laughs> viewpoints when it comes to looking at certain subjects. 
and everyone is not on the same accord because we have all come to a different um, endpoint of what's the truth. So the first thing is to do what? To, uh, to address the mind. Once we address the mind, I think, uh, once we address the mind, we can therefore say, you know what, this is what I have, and you can therefore say, this is what I have, okay, this is what I want, this is what I want. The other person will say, this is what I want. You know, there's an exchange. What can you do to get me to this point, I can say. That person can say, well, what can you do? You know, this is what I can do. There's, so you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a first, we have to go to, and address the mind before we are willing to do what? Reveal all of our what? Resources, okay. Okay. our assets, mm -hmm. and then negotiate and, you know what I mean, have a yeah. exchange of what I'm gonna, how am I gonna serve you, how are you gonna serve me, dialogue. And with that, that's just my, mm -hmm. um, my Opinion. thoughts. Thank you for that's that. That's what I think. Okay. <laughs> and with that, so how are you going to break on our mind? Because we are from different angles, we are from different directions, different backgrounds, with different cultures. So how are we going to identify ourselves and how are you going to develop our mind? Sharing the information. Sharing the information. Okay. With each other. So with this share of information all end with education. Yes. yes. And with the education, what are you going to educate ourselves with? The things that's going to empower you and make you self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. exactly. And what is that? Example of learning more about who you are as a people and what we need to do for ourselves, right. building the things that we need to take care of our family and, and taking care of your basic needs, getting back to your agricultural base, learning the, you know, you have modern day technology of the sustainable living where you can just, instead of just destroying the planet which we've been doing for so long, we can actually just grow in harmony with nature. Okay. Yeah? You know, we have potentials in us, mm -hmm. and we, we need to utilize it yeah. to achieve something great. So if you have that ability that you have great potentials, mm -hmm. you can do something great by also imparting it to someone. So all this one in education, and what are we going to educate ourselves with is our history, is our culture. That will help us identify who we are. And then also educate ourselves about the industries that we need to build to create the employment for our children mm -hmm. and our people in so, to where we're you know we're we're asking less of other nations to import. You know, oh, the, yeah. you know the import is just one of those things that kill black yeah. countries, you know. Oh does it? It's like people you know, we're limited on what we're producing and then we okay. just you know, even when we have natural resources, yeah. it's being sent out the places and it's being produced yeah, it's finished and, goods. and you know, being sent to your finished goods and so you're just paying more money for your own resources. It's, it's, it's a really crazy psychological thing, but uh, we have to figure this out sooner or later. Okay, so with all this, what I'm going to end with is that when you identify yourself, when you learn your own history, you can try and unite yourself in your family of five. When you speak, they always listen to you. And what that family can start with them. What you know, let them also know. Maybe I know this history about this flag over there. When I told my mom, my dad, my siblings, when they go outside, they also have friends. And that friends also have a family. So what are you doing right now? We are building a food chain. We are connecting. That would be even they didn't think that we are doing that. So let's try identify who we are. We shouldn't always believe them. For you to hide something from a black man, hiding the book. Mm -hmm. If blacks are not a slave, they are nothing. Because they don't know who they are. They are like a boat on the sea. They have no starting point, so there's no destination for them. Is it true? It's true. Yeah. That's what they are telling us. So are you going to sit and put our arms for them always to describe who we are? No. No. Well, we have to be that change. So the point is saying that be the unique among that child. Stand up from them. The voice was somehow in the midst of fight. But he said something that I always love to say. My skin is fight, but my mind is for my people. He stood there, he did everything over there. But he came out for his people. So the voice is not telling us that come out from there and be that tree that will stand tall in that forest. And that will, you will be the educator. You'll be the starting point of 
generation to come together as Africans. We are all Africans. Even Africa is a matter of all nations. Do you know that? Of course. A black man can give birth to a white man. Exactly. But a white man cannot give birth to a black man. Right. And there is a saying that with all the world, everyone has small little blood behind the ears. Why? Because Africa is the first generation to come. So let's try and make Africa a home for all. Thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> Family, can we, can we get everybody, including all of our guests? This would be a beautiful group photo.